Hey friends, today's video is sponsored by a Let Pot. They ended up sending me this hydrophonic little garden. I've never had anything like this. I was telling Jonathan about it and he said that it was really cool and he was interested in it. So that made me interested in it. Um, we're about two weeks in and I'm obsessed with it. I really like it. I think that it's going to um, really broaden my horizons as far as like being able to plant stuff in the off season. Super excited about trying that this fall, but y'all know I had to go ahead and give it a go here. So I started some seeds in it and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I already bought more of the seed starting pods so that once these are moved out, I can make some more, uh, start some more, whatever. Make sure that you check it out if you're interested. It will be linked down below, but let's go ahead and get on with the video. get started on dinner I'm gonna have sausage with peppers and onions I guess so. that's the only way to think about it I guess the only thing to call it um, Fallon made this a couple of I don't know weeks ago I guess and I've had it a couple of different times since then but it is so good and that's just what I really enjoy lately and then Tamara made it again a few days ago and I told her I was like yep I'm putting that on the menu this week so that's what we done um, I grabbed the stuff when we was at the store the other day I didn't grab hot dog buns because I just wanted to make my own. I just think it would make it better. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to get the hot dog buns going. And then we're going to make our sausage with peppers and onions. I don't remember what the sides was supposed to be. We'll figure it out. Maybe nothing. We'll see. But I got to get the hot dog buns going. I want to use the recipe that I always use. But we're going to get those. I think they take about an hour roughly from start to finish. Maybe. Well, a little bit over that about an hour until they're ready to cook but um john and ellen are gone now they went on a little ride on the four wheeler um so they should be they'll be done at least by the time they get home probably a while before they get home but the good thing about them is it doesn't matter if they're warm or not because hot dog buns typically are anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and get this started i figured we'd just record this evening cooking for dinner so that's what we're doing sometimes people forget about the simple stuff and this is one of those simple but very delicious meals i thought about doing a cheese sauce on top and doing it almost like think of a philly cheese steak but with sausage instead of steak um, but i don't have any mozzarella to make any cheese sauce i don't have any shredded cheese or cheese blocks to make cheese sauce so it's fine we're just going to roll with what we got i'm sure that would be delicious and we will definitely be trying that but not today so we're gonna go ahead and grab our ingredients and we'll meet you over there all right so first things first we need a cup of warm milk we don't have that so we'll get this cup of milk warmed up and then we'll move on i will link i will write out the recipe down below it's a tiktok video and i'm not sure if i can find it um i know i posted it in the original video that i posted sharing it forever ago but I don't remember. I'll give put name credit and all of that down below in the description box and write out the the recipe. Okay, so I need what? A tablespoon of sugar. And two teaspoons of I think this is supposed to make eight yeah 
So I think I want to make four with it and then do half of it as breadsticks. Funny thing about Lily's braces is Jonathan warned her that one of the hard things would be bread. And he told her that bread would be hard to eat. The, it's not a nurse, but it's not the orthodontist. I don't, I don't think it's a nurse. Anyways, the girl that done most of Lily's um, putting on of her braces and whatnot, she told her that bread is something that would give her problems, you know, if she could avoid it to do it, but if not, just be prepared that it's going to be getting stuck in her appliance on the top of her mouth. Um, bread is one of the few things that Lily can actually eat. She still has a big issue with chewing things, anything with any bit of hardness or whatever still causes her um, problems. You know, she's just adapting. It's been less than a week. But bread is something that she can actually eat fairly easily. And that is because she just breaks off chunks of it, throws it in her mouth, and almost swallows it whole. Um, so, a bread is something that she can eat. We got pizza one day, and she really wanted pizza, so we got it so she, she could try it. And the pizza was too hard, but we also got breadsticks, and she could manage the breadsticks. So, I told her that I could make her some homemade breadsticks. I hadn't planned on that today. I used the same recipe to use, make breadsticks before, and they was really good. So, we're going to do it again. That way, the only people that need the buns is me, John, and Nolan. And then, because Wendy won't eat these. Well, she might. Well, either way, we still would have four that way. Um, and then Lily can have some breadsticks. Or if Wendy and Nolan want breadsticks or whatever. So, I could double the recipe, but I just, I don't know. I just don't seem like people's going to be super hungry and into food tonight. Some days it's just like that for us. I mean, maybe it's like that for everybody. And today is definitely going to be one of those days. I even thought about just skipping this and just doing a find what you want kind of night because it just feels like one of those days. But I've been really wanting them. So I decided to make them. Anyways, if they don't get eaten, it's something that can <clears throat> if they don't get eaten, it's something that can save easy, so it's not that big of a deal. Alright, so we got all of our dry ingredients. Now we gotta do three melted three tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm gonna grab that real quick. While our butter cools a little bit. We're gonna add the yeast mixture here. And our one egg. It is too wet right now, but it won't be in the end. And I think there's been at least a couple of different times when I do this that I've had to add a little bit more than it says in order for it to be, um, you know, I can manipulate it with my hands and it not stick all over me. So, but we're going to let this rest for five minutes, clean up our mess here, and then we'll come back and finish it up. All right, so now the last step before we shape them. I'm going to take a fourth of a cup of flour. I like to use half of it and plop it out on it. If you can plop it, it's not going to plop. Give me a second. I'm going to have to have some help plopping it. And you're supposed to just put it into a grease pan and let it sit for 30 minutes. But I always just put it back in this bowl because what's the point of dirtying up more dishes? I mean, I mean, I've done it before with following exactly, you know, and it still turns out the same. So, yeah, we're going to add about a half a cup of flour instead. It's really wet on us today. too close i'm a wild one i'm all right love on my own you probably think i'm hurting but darling i'll be fine it's just a little heartbreak and heartbreak fades with time you probably think i'm broken i swear that i'm all right it's just a
at the store. I think they're pretty good myself. Um, the kids, however, I think they're just grossed out by the name more for me. This was really good. The queso one is a little spicy. Blossom. Get that put down. You know? No. She doesn't know words or calls. Blossom. She don't know her name yet. She's purring though. Oh, that's so pretty. I was going to say that had a lot to do with age. And this evening we ended up taking Jonathan his last load of like shelves and fish tanks and stuff that he had here at the house. And I thought we would just bring you along for a little bit of that drive. I love the drive to his house. It is so peaceful and just absolutely beautiful. So I figured we would bring you along for just a little bit of that. And then y'all know since I was around him, I got a little bit of video footage of our buddy. Anybody know who our buddy is? I'm sure you do. There's some of you that preferred him over all of the dogs. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show Herschel just a little bit. He was super excited when we first got there. And then, obviously, you know, I was trying to hurry and help them unload the load of stuff. So, anyways... As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Bye, y'all.